stopped. Sherry, you asked would the lioness move the den um, so regularly or stay in the same area? Well, Sherry, it depends. I th you know, when these cubs are born and they'll still be far too young to really move around for the first two to three weeks, then, um, and then she may decide to move them uh, to another den site, possibly still while they are too young to move around for themselves. Um, and then as they start getting older, she will start moving a little den site probably three or four times, uh, somewhere around there. Occasionally they might find a spot that they are happy with and they might only move once and then keep the cubs there until the cubs are old enough to then get taken to then get taken to um, just mm. listen to a contact calling me Charlie, you asked if a leopard can hear a lion contact calling? Definitely. Definitely. Just like we can. Let's see if she roars properly. Shame. <laughs> it actually sounds like a bit of a sad call. Mm. Mm. she comes oh, that is beautiful light we'll just sit still as she walks past us <laughs> where is she go? she's moving there so I wonder where the rest of the pride is she keeps looking for them and contact calling. As I said, the other guides did have tracks of them, but I didn't hear any any update that they found them. I might just radio some of the other guides and just find out if they did manage to have any luck with the rest of the pride. I don't think so. Unless they are perhaps on Biffle's Hook in the north. Just trying to have a look which direction she's going. Sorry. So I'm just listening to something. Listen to Kudu alarm calling. See the kudu that um, we passed some kudu earlier, and they've spotted uh, that lioness, and now they're alarm calling. It's amazing how alert they are. Just have a look at this, just off to our left. You can see that kudu. Let's see if we see her alarm call. You see that? There we go. Wonderful. We we often speak about the kudu alarm calls. It sounds like a bark and you don't always see it. Sometimes it's too late by the time we get there. But this kudu is clearly alarm calling at the lioness. We're going to have to stick with her again. Um, uh, we had a question of whether or not she was... Um, contact calling the lioness was contact calling for the pride or for the cubs I think it's most likely the pride she would know exactly where she put the cubs she wouldn't need to contact call she'll only contact call when she gets into that spot that she left them uh, but 
sorry, Patricia, that was your question. Um, so, it's definitely the pride that she's looking for. It's a lot better when you're a lioness, you don't have to dodge so many trees. Funny trying to navigate through the bush like this. <laughs> Senzo is having a little chuckle behind me. I was going to see, we, um, because we're probably going to approach um, one of the other roads, you know. Uh, uh, Charlie, your question, sorry, and um, uh, I'm not sure if you heard earlier, um, I was saying these lions, you asked can a leopard hear the lion contact call, and yes, definitely, and vice versa, of course they can, they can hear each other calling, most, most likely, uh, she's just decided to lie down, I don't want to, I don't want to push her too much, uh, let's see, can you see her through there, Senzo? Is that okay? Yeah, let's just wait here with her. Uh, hold on a second, I just want to radio some of the other guides. Uh, Texan or, or Rexon, do you copy? Uh, morning, Tex. Um, before we manage to locate on a single lioness, um, we basically between vultures uh, uh, so yeah between um Nyala road south and vultures nest road um we're south of central just a single line there she is contact calling did you have any luck with the pride this morning the tracks Okay, copy. Oh, she's contact calling and moving. I'm gonna stick with her. Maybe she takes us to the pride. I'll keep you updated. No, doesn't sound like anyone else had luck for the lions this morning just us <laughs> team effort zoomies and us now usually the lines are very very good at pinpointing where each other are. Stanley, 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 as I mentioned, um, I mentioned earlier, you know, the, li the lion cubs can go a few days without food, but ideally the lioness will return every day and feed them. So, yes, but like I said, this lioness may, may very possibly have left those cubs early this morning, so they've fed, they will rest now for, for quite a quite some time until she finds the pride maybe the pride are hunting again um, you know she also needs to eat easy if she's got a pride to help her catch food
Yeah, now that's linked to Patricia's question of how long can she go without food. Um, or Patricia, she's she's feeding cubs, so she'd have to try and feed every two or three days, and depending on how much food she gets. Listen, listen. sound even though it's quite a, even though it's quite a low sound will definitely be picked up by the rest of the pride but I wonder if these lines are in this area I, I, I really don't know I really don't know 